Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be covering the 11th devlog for the next game in the World War 1 game series, Isanzo. So today's devlog is pretty short, with its only subject matter being mortars, but there's still some interesting and valuable information here. Mortars, as we know based on the original trailer, are going to be on map and player operated in Isanzo. The first thing they mention about them is that all mortars will be fixed emplacements. Now I'm not sure exactly what that means, I would prefer them to be placeable by a specific class and locked down where they're placed, but this could also mean that they're just predetermined spawns like we had for machine guns in Tannenberg. More info that was confirmed about them is that they have a relatively wide range of capabilities, specifically stating that a player can choose between rapid, inaccurate fire and slower, more precise shots. And they also made it clear that another teammate actively spotting targets will be crucial to use it effectively. In most cases, I would imagine the squad leader would assume that role, but it seems like any teammate will be able to actively spot for them. I assume and hope that when they say spotting, they mean just like having coordinates on the map and not a Battlefield 1 style red outline, because if that was the case, I think it'd be very immersion breaking. But these devs have historically had a pretty strong reputation of down to earth and realistic gameplay, so I won't jump to any conclusions on that. And just like with everything else, I'll have to wait and see before I can form a solid opinion on it. But back to the mortars, they showed off one from each side. The Bedica is the Italian mortar system that shoots tube like projectiles that have matchlit fuses. This seems a little absurd to me, and I'm curious as to how this will end up playing, but it seems interesting nonetheless. Then we have more traditional M14 mortars being used by the Austro-Hungarians. They make specific mention about these mortars producing a lot of smoke because of the black powder, and once again they talk about these interesting historical details, and I'm not sure if those will actually translate in game at all, or they're just to spice up the dev blogs and give a bit of history. Maybe I'm reading too deep into things, but either way, more screenshots and videos would really help to get me excited, as the devs still have it planned as a 2022 release, but still haven't announced a concrete date yet. So fingers crossed that comes soon, and of course I'll keep you guys posted as more information comes out regarding the game. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.